What's up guys? Just wanted to give you a quick rundown of what's going to be on this channel. Mainly what we're going to have are weld tutorials, weld tutorials in various processes on plate and pipe. Also, what we're going to be having our on-field situations and in-lab situations and stuff like that, you know. Uh, just all kinds of pipe fitting and welding stuff on here. And just random stuff that I do throughout the week. So if there's anything in particular y'all want to watch, just let us know and uh, we'll try to get that done for y'all. Today what we're gonna be doing is a two inch Schedule 80 carbon steel TIG all the way out on a 6G. I got my buddies Juan and Alex, they're coming through. They're gonna help me out with the video shooting and the fitting and stuff like that. So hope y'all like the video and uh, let's get to it. What's up guys, so we're ready to go. Got my buddy Alex here. He's gonna help me uh, fit the pipe. We're gonna put a TIG on it. We're gonna put a TIG on it. On right here on top, one on the bottom, and then we'll go from there. All right, guys, we got two tacks in. Uh, before we put the root in, one little tip I want to give y'all is if if you uh, you're a righty, uh, I'm a righty. I always put my tack from like five o'clock to six o'clock. That way, I can start. This is my easiest side. I can start from over here and then I'll have less less uh, to weld on the other side. Now, if I'm a lefty, I would put my tack on the, from six to seven. But from right here to right here, I could, I, could, I could come from all the way over here and have left side on. Less uh, weld to put in on my hard side. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do all this side right here. I'm gonna back feed it all the way all the way till I get to the top, like to like right here. Right here, I'm probably gonna have half of the wire inside and half of the wire on top. Uh, since it's a two inch pipe, I could, I could go ahead and do all this side and then go come and do the other side. But if it was a bigger uh, uh, size pipe, I would probably quarter it, like, go from here to here and then, you know. And uh, one thing too, with the wire, every time I, I finish a bead or something, I always cut my wire, no matter if I'm in the field, in the lab. Some people don't do it, but it's a, just an extra precaution. Just cut it, cut it off, cut the little piece off, cut the little piece off every time you finish. Just a little uh, extra precaution. Resting the wire on the weld like this, uh, it helps me out, it gives me more control and it also helps with the wire feeding process. If any of y'all have trouble losing the wire inside the pipe or the bevel, this might help y'all out a little bit. Here, after I tie in, I always like to add two or three drops on top after I close it up so the weld could push down and uh, it would make it look uh, even. Alright guys, I already put, uh, put the root in, 
Uh, I buffed up my weld. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it up and throw my hot pass in there. Okay, now on the hot pass, I'll turn it up a little bit and I'm just gonna lay the wire. I'm not gonna feed it just yet. Uh, I'll start feeding uh, once I get to the fillers. Alright guys, I got the pipe flush, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw a two bead cap. I'm gonna throw one bead all around, all around, and then I'll throw the other one right on top, all around. Okay guys, now on the cap, uh, the bottom, I like to uh, finger the bottom, and then once I get to the comfortable spot, I'll start walking the cup. Uh, I'm not really feeding the wire, I'm just laying it there. Same as the hot pass, because uh, it's already kind of flush. Okay, here on the second beat of the cap, I turned it down five. Sometimes I'll even turn it down 10, depending on how hot the pipe is. Um, sometimes I'll use a 332 rod on that second bead. But right here, we didn't have any, so I went ahead and uh, used a 18. Thank you. 
All right, so there y'all have it, guys. This was a little tutorial on uh, two-inch Schedule 80 carbon steel TIG all the way out with a 532 gap using 70S6 wired. So hope y'all liked the video. Uh, if y'all could like and subscribe, that'll be badass, and we'll see y'all in the next video.